Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a full phase of clean makeup, whatever clean means for each one of you, but I'll give you a loose term on what it means to me. Uh, I'm gonna show you my sweatpants. They're like Aladdin sweatpants. They're from Nap loungewear. They have really cute outfits, like loungewear and stuff. I'm not really into their clothes because I feel like they're a little grandma -y, but they definitely have cute loungewear outfits. Um, as always, my jewelry is from Linked Label. They have really cute stackable rings, super cute, classy stuff if you're into that. So I'll leave them linked down below. Um, for me, clean beauty just means um, using products that don't have any harmful chemicals that your body will not process in the wrong way, that it's just not bad for your skin and the environment. But it's a um, controversial term because we don't really know um, exactly what is clean beauty or not. Sometimes like the term natural or organic doesn't necessarily mean that it's clean. But I do take care of what I put on my skin as in skincare. But I'm a little bit more loose when it comes to makeup because I feel like I have my skincare protecting my skin from absorbing all the makeup. Like it just doesn't absorb just as, as in skincare does so i do have a few things um when it comes to clean beauty i have a little bit extra that, are, that i'll be doing in another video because i can't do a full face with too many products so i'm just gonna use the ones i picked for the video today um i'm gonna start with this side um it is the star glow glowy super gel I've heard people hate this and I've heard others really like it. To me, it's a really beautiful glowy product as you can see on my cheek. It's not glittery at all. It has a nice light texture and I like to apply it to my cheeks mostly, not really on the rest of my face, um, just a little bit on my eyes and the bridge of my nose. Well, actually, let's go a little bit wild. Um, so that's for skin prep. For um, my base, I'm trying this Elia Super Serum Skin Tint. Um, I've had this for a little while, but I haven't tried it. I know my sister loves it. This shade might be a little, actually quite light for me, but we'll fix that with a little bit of bronzer. This, from what I've heard, ooh, this is really, really light. I don't even know if this has a lot of coverage it doesn't so from what i heard it's more of a very very light uh skin tint it doesn't offer from what i see any coverage almost it's just something to like make your skin look a little healthier but i definitely don't think that if you're looking for a foundation this will be it um not if you're into any kind of coverage this will not work for that so we'll be using concealer to add a little bit of coverage for sure let me get some tissues um all right so for concealer i'm gonna go with the ilia concealer true skin serum concealer so this is a very light concealer this is in the shade chicory and i mean light as in the texture is quite light as always i just apply it to the areas where I'm a little red. I like to cover the beginning of my brows and getting a straight line on my nose on camera is always a little awkward. So this area around my nose is usually irritated. I like to do this to like cover a little bit of the darkness that I have from the sun and this area. I'm definitely using more concealer than usual just because this skin tint didn't offer any coverage at all. But I do feel like it gives you that glowy, dewy skin if you're into that. Definitely don't recommend this if you're into matte uh, looking face bases. But I think this concealer is doing a good job. I've tried it before, but I've never really put it to the test as in like really checking what it looks like with time over 
the day because I do find that a lot of products look really good as soon as you apply them and they don't wear well. I just did a drugstore makeup tutorial, well, review of drugstore products and I used the infallible foundation that everyone talks about and the concealer. And throughout the day, it looked so bad, you guys. It was all cracky. It looked thick on my skin. I did not like it at all. So I'm probably never going to use that again because unless I really like a product, I tend not to use them. That's why I really do like a thorough research before I buy any products because I hate leaving them on the back burner and just like accumulating products that I'm not that into. All right, so I think we got a decent looking base. Yeah, this is good enough. Oh, where did I leave my bra product? I don't have a bra pencil from, oh, here it is. I'm using the She Glam bra product because I don't have a bra pencil from a clean brand. Oh, sorry guys. My eyes are teary. Oh, let me do a little bit here because my eyelids are a little red. My eyes are teary and I'm having like seasonal allergies, I guess. Now I removed all the concealer under this eye. Great. I've been watching Michelle Vaughn. I know she doesn't do a lot of videos anymore, but I just find her voice so relaxing and soothing. So I'm gonna do um, another video on M Cosmetics because I did order her new lip products, which seem really amazing. It's supposed to be this liquid lip color that just smooths out the wrinkles on your lips. I saw her video on it and it looks really, really great. It looks like an amazing product and I'm just so into like smoothing products for the lips. You guys, I got this mirror in at Shein and it was so cheap and it has a light and it's amazing. I'm really surprised by it. Like the quality of it, it's heavy. It seems like a great, great mirror. Like, you know, when you can see like a mirror is a little cloudy or it's not like what real life looks like. It's just like a cheap mirror. This is definitely a good one for sure. So if you are needing a mirror, this is perfect for now that I'm filming videos. Um, definitely excited about this mirror. I'm gonna do a video also on She Glam makeup. I already got my order, but I placed another order for the rest of the product so I could do a full face. So I'm gonna be doing a review of the first batch of makeup that I got and then, uh, and then I'll do, sorry, sorry, my, my nose is watery and everything. And then I'll do a video with the rest of, of the products that I got so that I can do a full face. Um, but I'm really, really surprised by some of its makeup. Um, I actually love their bra products. Really amazing bra pencil. I'm so surprised. I was not expecting that from such an affordable brand. I don't even know how they do it. I'm using the LYS No Limits Matte Bronzer in Courage Tan. This seems a little dark. Oh, yeah, it's definitely dark for me. So let's go in lightly and see. I'll blend that out. I just want to add the rest of the product to this side so it doesn't concentrate on one side. It's a nice color. It's definitely not too orangey looking. I wouldn't say this is a contouring shade, but I don't have any contouring products that are clean. I actually got lucky that I have this bronzer because I think this and the Kosas bronzer are the only bronzing products that I have that are clean. But it's a nice color. It does give you that warm, glowy look on the face, even though it's matte, if you're base is glowy it will not mattify your skin a lot that's what i can tell because my my cheek still looks kind of glowy a little bit on the nose i usually don't add um bronzer to my nose maybe just a tiny bit 
I like more of a of a neutral shade to contour my nose always on this area because you don't want that to be pale on the rest of your face to look warm um, and a little bit on my top lids as I always do just to add a little bit of depth to that area okay I like this so far it's looking quite natural very it girl makeup for blush I am gonna go in this is the highlighter from Westman Atelier and this is the blush I've only used this a couple of time you, times you guys and I'm not sure why but I remember I remembered I had I had it and I was like okay this is perfect I'll use it for my clean makeup video um, this is a clean brand that is quite pricey it's like a high-end brand I don't think Sephora sells it actually no they don't um, it's quite pricey and do I think it's worth it um, yeah if you're into luxury makeup it can be worth it but I definitely don't think you have to go with such expensive makeup if you want to get a clean makeup routine it doesn't have to be like really high-end it doesn't really matter so if you're into luxury beauty do i recommend it yeah it has a really beautiful color nice texture but i don't think it is necessary to spend all your money on this i'm using their highlighter which is all smushed up it's quite um quite natural it doesn't give you a lot of glow if you're into that this is definitely not the product as you can see it's more of a wet look uh, on the skin more than a really strong highlight it gives you that wet look so if you're not into the wet looking skin that's a little bit tacky this is not the product for you guys so i don't think this is as good for the price to be honest it's not a product that i'll be using a lot getting a lot of use out of because i do find that i've found other products like this that give you a more sheeny glow without it being tacky um i like the side a lot more than the westman atelier um for brows i am setting my brows with this merit uh brow product voluminizing pomade in brown i'm not sure what i think of this product you guys i'm not even sure if i've tried it before so let's go in oh ooh, ooh. that's what i don't like about tinted brow products sometimes they can make your brows look a little messy if it doesn't apply evenly but so far i don't think this will give you a lot of hold it's more of a natural brow tint it's not even tinting my brows a lot, you guys. I'll get close so you can see. I don't even think it's changing the color of my brows at all. So this is a new product and it's not applying a lot of it to my eyes. For sure not. So I wouldn't repurchase, you guys. I like my brow products to really like hold my brows in place. I'm not like I don't have bushy brows, but I still like them to be held in place because you can see from the beginning of my video, my brows were laid like down. So for um, eyeshadows, I'm using one of these two Aether palettes. This is a much more cool toned palette. It's gorgeous. I've seen khaki use this and I've seen a few YouTube videos on this and it's beautiful. But I'm going with a warmer palette today. Um, just because I'm definitely more into warmer tones. So for every day, I definitely tend to steer towards warmer tones i'm just gonna do a really easy basic look that's what i always say and then i end up going a little crazy with it um let's see how the shadows perform because i only swatched them i didn't try the shadows on my eyes so i usually go kind of cautiously when i'm trying a product because i don't know how pigmented it will be that's a nice shade. That's a nice base shade for sure. And the looks that I saw with this uh, more warm tone palette looked incredible. It seems like the shimmery shades are just 
so unique i love that pop of um color the few pops of color that it has i love them i'm not sure if i'm gonna use oh, yeah i'm gonna use the shade for my bottom lashes it might be a little too dark actually with another brush because i don't want it to go all over the place this is like a greenish undertone that doesn't look green on camera it doesn't translate like the color on the pan it definitely looks a little warmer on the skin but it's a nice nice base shade and i definitely like it under my eyes um i'm just gonna go in with a shimmery shade if you guys want me to do a full review on this palette just put it in the comments and i'll do that for you guys gladly but i'm just gonna add a little bit of spark sparkle to my lid because i'm going out to the salon to get my nails done and i don't want my eye makeup to look too wild just like a natural um i always say natural and to me shimmer is considered natural um i know for a lot of people shimmer would definitely not be considered natural but like a light shimmery shade on the eyes for sure i can use that during the day i'm gonna go in with a little bit of this melanie pink tone and see how this looks on my eyes oh it's a nice sheer shade it's not as strong as i expected it to be which is a nice surprise um because that means i can use it more for every day without it looking too exaggerated yeah i'm definitely liking the eye look i don't know if you guys can tell on camera it's a very sheer wash of color well to me that's just my taste and for the inner corners i'm going with this pale uh nudie shade which has a bit of shimmer definitely not like a huge pop it's not that shimmery um but i like it for the inner corners i'm gonna apply it a little bit to my brow bone to make it pop a little bit so yeah that natural look i was going for you guys kind of went down the drain because it's not as natural but i feel like this is still very wearable this is definitely a nice everyday palette um i feel like this wouldn't well this can actually be a nighttime palette as well for sure you get deeper shades to do that so definitely a good palette i'm going in with this cali ray i'm so excited to try uh this tubing my mascara because that's this is my favorite kind of mascaras the tubing ones and i am excited about this because um i love tubing mascaras and my favorite is from, from thrive cosmetics but i'm running out of that one and i don't want to show you guys the same mascara over and over so let's try this one i didn't curl my lashes because i don't know where my eyelash curler is at the moment and i don't want to get up and look for it i don't want to make you guys wait okay i am liking this mascara you guys it's definitely gripping onto the lashes this kind of brushes tend to like the the fluffy brushes tend to sometimes just glide over your lashes without really applying enough of the product to give you payoff but this one's definitely gripping onto my lashes i like the look that it's giving it actually lifted up my lashes without curling them so i am liking this mascara so far it shouldn't smudge or flake that's like the whole point of tubing mascaras that it doesn't smudge on you or flake so i'll give you guys an update if i like it i'll continue to use it on my videos and i'll let you guys know what i think but i definitely like this it is quite nice not sure if I'll like it as much as I like my Thrive mascara because I do love the Thrive applicator. Um, but it's it's a good, definitely a good mascara. I'm not applying it to my bottom lashes just because I don't want to, um, I don't want to get it smudged if it doesn't work 
well this is just a color pop lip liner because i don't have a clean beauty uh lip liner and here in mexico we don't really have a section of clean beauty uh as you do on the sephora website in the u.s so I don't even think I was gonna be able to find a liner, a clean liner here. So I'm just going with ColourPop. I don't really mind if my liner is clean or not. For lip color, I'm trying out this two, well, one of these, Rose Ink Satin Lip Color. This one is in the shade Besotted. Besotted? I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Let's look at this. Oh, this is a beautiful, uh, rosy tone it looks more mauve in the container but it's like the perfect go-to shade in my opinion I looked at looked at the pictures online and I kind of knew I was gonna like the shades this looks a little cooler even yeah for sure a cooler toned lipstick so I might mix them both yeah I'm gonna add a little bit of the cool toned first it has a nice creamy texture and I love that it's magnetized. The packaging is really clean looking and beautiful in my opinion. Uh, let's see. What do I think of this? It has a bit of an odd shape, but it works. I like this mix. I like this combination. I feel like one would be too warm. The other one might be a little bit too cool. And I'm just going to powder my face a little bit with my Kosas Cloud Set Powder, which is probably my favorite powder on the go at the moment. Um, definitely a good powder. It is clean and Kosas just has really great products. I'm not the biggest fan of their cheek. Uh, highlighter and blush palette but I'm gonna give it a go in my next clean beauty video and see what I think of it this time but I'm not so sure I'm gonna like it to be honest with you so that might be the only product from Kosas and their bronzer that I'm not that into uh, but I'll let you guys know in that video mm, I think face is looking pretty okay my chin is a little red but we'll leave that like that i'm using one of this merit lip oils tinted lip oils uh i'm going in with the shade this shade pink beet beet as in the vegetable okay it has a nice sheer texture definitely into the color i like it you guys don't know how long this will last on the lips as it's very thin but I don't mind applying lip oils over and over throughout the day so this is the finished clean makeup look you guys my hand always they're always dirty with makeup thank you guys for being here it means the world to me every subscriber and like counts so much and that allows me to keep doing this for you guys. It makes me so excited to wake up every morning and have a video to film. So thank you again for being here. And I'll see you on my next video tomorrow. Bye.